Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for October 1st through the 7th. We're going to jump right on in here. As always, I'm going to do a general reading for the week ahead and I'm going to pull one card for love. If you want a more detailed love reading, be sure to subscribe and hit notification if you haven't already. In a couple of days, I will have the October love reading for Aries posted and that way you'll get a notification when that's up. So, without further ado, Aries, let's see what's happening for you Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. Here's your Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Sometimes the cards don't jump out as quickly. Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then, of course, we need a card about love, right? That's what everybody wants to know about love. Love, 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 love. Oh, come on, love card. Okay, so let's see what's happening. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, Aries. You've got six of swords. And if, if, I, if I remember correctly, Aries, I think last week your reading for the week was a, a little bit hectic or it did feel like there was a lot going on. But again, that's no surprise because last week you guys all had the full moon in in Aries and so a lot of you are probably feeling that are more sensitive to that so the good thing about this week starting out you've got six of swords so that's like being able to put the chaos behind you you know sailing into smoother waters calmer waters I feel some of you not all of you obviously this is a general reading but I feel like some of you had like this massive blowout with somebody last week I think some of you had some really uh, pent up anger or really just hurt feelings I, I, I think just more hurt than anything else and it just like was really building up and some of you kind of like you know had it out with someone uh, but I feel like it was a blessing in disguise I feel like it was a good chance for everything to just kind of be put on the table and I feel like whoever you were dealing with didn't realize that you felt that way so I, I think it ended up being a good thing and I feel like this week moving forward um, it will be like moving into smoother waters or smoother sailing and trying to put the, the the past behind you like just putting it behind you and having a better idea of how to move forward um, some of you Aries you guys are dealing with putting some fear behind you some of you had some kind of a scare last week some kind of a scare and you're being able to put it behind you and move forward so you know and it could have been any area of your life for some of you it could have been happening at work for some of you it could have just been uh something with family or with a a partner you know but i i think whatever was going on and the energies for you all last week was pretty intense and then moving into this week it should be a lot smoother so let's check out your Wednesday, Thursday. And you've got Page of Swords. So Page of Swords is, is you know, it's it's going to be an air suit. So some of you are dealing with an air sign. Some of you may be dealing with a younger air sign. Uh, I mean, when I say younger, I just mean not like a middle-aged person. It could be a young adult. It could be an older teenager. Um, but you're dealing with, some of you, an air sign. And some of you are going to be having uh, to work closely with this person. I feel for some of you, this is somebody at work. And you may be feeling like you can't entirely uh, turn your back on this person. I think some of you are feeling like this person's kind of maybe like low-key uh, competing with you. Or there's like this frenemy thing going on. Um... I think some of you are right. Some of you are right. But I think Aries and you guys can get a little competitive too. And I think it's more so uh, this person for some of you is trying really hard to prove themselves. And they feel a little threatened by you. And uh, they kind of get that sense from you that there is that competitiveness. And they're wanting to show that they can hold their own. They're wanting to prove themselves. And they're wanting to move up. So some of them may be feeling kind of like you're in the way uh or you know like they have to like show that they got to show you up so they can move past and like get promoted or be noticed in some way 
talked to some of you or dealing with someone at work. I feel for other ones of you, there's some kind of idea that you kind of had, like it, it, it hit you out of nowhere fairly recently and you're trying to to find a way to implement it, to, to materialize it. Uh, it could be like a children's story or just some idea that you had. Some of you, I'm, I'm hearing app. So some of you are, are doing something with an app Some of, or wanting to do something with an app. Some of you have some kind of idea that you're hoping or trying to bring to market. And so there's a lot of brainstorming that's happening there. Uh, what I'm hearing to tell you all, those of you that have this idea, uh, is that ideas come from the universe and you need to implement them. You need to act on them. If you don't, they go to somebody else. And then, you know, later on down the road, you'd be like, well, I thought of that or I was thinking of that. And, you know, like, all of a sudden now it's here. So it's, it's good to act on them, right? Like you, it's, it's good to look into how you can make it happen, to analyze, to move forward. Um, some of you, I feel, are being confronted by someone confronted by someone and again it could be an air sign person um where they're feeling very hurt by you whereas maybe last week you had it out with somebody else and you were upset and and you let it out and so now somebody may be coming up to you i don't give it this is going to be like a massive blowout like i don't think you have to be afraid or, or worried in that way but some of you may be having some kind of just somebody calling you out on something midweek and just be prepared for that i think because you're coming into the week, you know, kind of riding high and feeling good. Uh, there could be someone, and I think for a lot of you, this is going to be a, a work type situation. Just somebody who's who's going to be a little um, resentful, kind of like, well, you're all like in this good mood and you're all chipper, but like, you know, you were not very nice to me last week or, you know, whatever it might be. Some of you are, are you know mildly being called out again i don't feel it's very massive but just be be prepared for that some of you may be having some kind of uh um conversation with a with a partner those of you who maybe didn't have the blowout last week some of you may be having some kind of part a conversation with a partner midweek this week especially if you are dealing with an air sign where like they're letting you know things that like they're upset about or they were hurt about especially if you were kind of emotional last week you know so there just might be some kind of conversation and then moving into your friday saturday and sunday aries let's see what's going on for you all you have the lovers okay so this yeah i mean this could be a very beautiful card about a relationship a lot of people get very excited when they see the lovers card but this is a card about choices this is a card about decisions so for some of you this is full-on manifesting in your love life where there's choices or decisions that need to be made in your love life for other ones of you it could just be a choice or a decision within your personal relationships and within your working relationships that ultimately down the road will be affecting your love life so you know it may be like indirectly uh, a love situation so um and what i mean by that is you know you know you might be having a situation with a family member or with family that you're having to make decisions and that's affecting your love life like you know for some of you it could even be standing up to someone for some of you it could be something with some kind of a block um, or a very self-sacrificing life that you might be living you might really be sacrificing your time and your energy for others and um, you know it's getting in the way of your personal life or in your love life and you might be having to make decisions about whether or not you want to continue doing that uh, for those of you who are having this directly show up in your romantic life however you Aries um, I feel like what's happening for a lot of you is you've kind of maybe been on the fence about a relationship and you maybe thought in the past that okay well if I knew how this person felt about me, like if I knew that they were serious or if I knew that they wanted to move forward, then I then I would tough it out. I would stick it out. Then this relationship would be worth it because I would at least feel like, OK, I have confirmation that they love me like they love me. They want to have a future with me. And I feel some of you have, you know, come to that bridge and crossed it where and maybe for some of you, that's kind of like what the blowout was about last week. Those of you who had a blowout. But I feel like for those of you who've been feeling that way, your partner is like, OK, you know, yeah, let's talk about the future. Some of you may even have been talking about like, you know, 
um, engagement or marriage or moving in together. Those of you who are already moving in together, you may have been talking about marriage or those of you who are married, maybe like talking about kids or like the next step thing or whatever, whatever next step relationship thing you've been hoping for, some of you um, have finally had that confirmation and that person that you're dealing with seems to be on the same page or they seem to be wanting to move forward. And that's all you ever really wanted. And now that it's here, some of you are like, okay, but like now that it's here, I, I don't necessarily know that I feel more secure in this relationship. I don't know if I feel any happier. So some of you kind of like got what you wanted or you're getting what you wanted and now you're questioning whether or not you want it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Sometimes that happens. That's completely and totally normal areas. You're not crazy. You're not going nuts. So don't even worry about that. But I do feel like some of you are having to make some pretty big decisions here. I feel that some of you have been in a relationship where it's really been driving you nuts, like a lot of stress. And I think a lot of you are feeling that stress in your body right now and so you're having to make a decision here like can I get a hold of my feelings can I get a hold of the stress like is there something that I can do differently or do I need to full-on walk away from this relationship so big decisions to make their areas um towards the end of the week but I feel like whatever is happening the, the ball is in your court so to speak like it's kind of up to you what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward so your love card for the week ahead is the star so this is in general the star is one of my favorite cards ever but in this deck i really love this picture i just love the artwork here it's beautiful so um the star each reader is going to have a relationship with the different cards and different cards are going to be different things. Obviously, the cards have their set meanings, but each reader is going to have certain cards that mean something very specific to them. And for me, the star is always the card about, you know, it's kind of like beauty being born of chaos, like through the through the chaos, through the drama, through the, the, the disappointments and the struggles this beauty beautiful energy is born you know like if you even think about what a star is it's like this exploding rock in the sky like these gases that are having these chemical reactions with one another and creating these little explosions and from far away we just look up and we see these beautiful twinkling lights but there's all kinds of you know combusting and exploding going on that we're not even aware of and so that's kind of like how you're being seen in, in your situation or in your love life. You know, people may not understand uh, the, the things that you're processing right now or the things that you have processed to get to where you are. Uh, but you make it look so easy and you, you come out shining through it. So those of you who maybe had some kind of blowout with, with somebody last week or especially if it was in your love life or with a romantic partner or if you were having a really hard time you know, with life last week and your partner was kind of stepping up or trying to help you through that, I would say it's safe to say you don't have to worry about looking like a mess or anything I, I think it, it made you more beautiful in their eyes in that way or, um, or more inspiring in their eyes in that way because they got a better glimpse kind of for that internal struggle and what you're able to do with it and what you're creating in your life uh, I feel for other ones of you this is like somebody has really noticed you uh, especially for those of you who are single somebody has really noticed you and they're like finding you very inspiring very um uh just out of their league really out of their league and so i think there might be somebody who's working up the courage to step up to you and i think they might be doing little things for you this week where they're trying to get closer to you without seeming thirsty <laughs> you know like they're trying to get closer to you without seeming like they're desperate or seeming like they're they're chasing after you like they don't want to make it too obvious, but trying to just like feel you out and get an idea of, you know, what would I have a chance? Are they going to warm up to me? Are they going to give me a shot? You know, so there's just this really kind of um, 
being in awe, being in awe of you. So, you know, don't be surprised, those of you who are uh, maybe just getting a little more attention that you're not even sure what to do with in the sense that you can't make out or you can't figure out what their motives are. Like, is this person just really nice? Are they really chatty? Are they, you know, are they interested? And chances are they are interested, but they're playing it cool. And they're not going to jump in right away uh, romantically. Some of you, those of you especially who have had this really massive idea, I was saying how I feel that some of you Aries have been, you know, uh, turning this idea over in your head about something that you're wanting to create. Um, whether it be uh, some kind of uh, idea or show or app or book or whatever it might be whatever this thing is that you're trying to create or invent in some way some of you are really beginning to take steps towards that and so this card wants you to know that that path is actually leading you to meeting someone especially those of you who are single like you're going to be meeting someone in the quest of that and it could be someone that you end up working with it could be someone that ends up being a vendor in some way it could just be somebody you're meeting at like a coffee shop while you're sitting down on your laptop doing research i mean but but just in some way you're being placed on on the path of meeting this person again guys this is a general reading so it's going to apply in different ways to different ones of us so be sure to check out your moon sign and your rising sign and the other videos and that should give you some added layers and information. And check out the pick a card readings. Because a lot of people have been saying that those are really resonating with them and helping them. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. So, um, and be sure to subscribe and hit notifications so you get a notice when the love reading is up. Because there might be stuff coming up that's going to make this make a little bit more sense for some of you. Uh, let's do your homework card. Every week, for those of you who don't know who are new to this channel... Or who have never watched my videos before. I started doing this uh, soul soul card thing. Where I ask uh, for a card to get uh, a message for what your angels and guides want you to work on this week. Or what they want you to remember. Because sometimes we're having struggles. And we're like, good lord, what is the lesson in this? What do I need to learn so that it stops happening? You know? Or sometimes there's just something like very nice or inspirational. So I always ask for a card each week for like what the theme is or what like the soul lesson or the soul work is for you all this week. So let's see what's going on for Aries. What is the message for Aries? This fell, but it could have just been my sloppy, my sloppy uh, <laughs> shuffle there. These cards are a little big for my hands. But um, so I'm going to pull a card, but you know what? We'll look at that one too. We'll... We'll, we'll give you two cards here. Don't tell the other signs. All right, so let's see. All right, there we go. There we go. So the one we pulled out here is patience. So I know everybody kind of groans. They like people going, oh, wait, wait, I've been patient so long. I mean, I hear that all the time. And hey, I, I feel you. I feel you. I don't like to wait. I don't like to wait either. So, and sometimes, yeah, we go through this really long struggle or we go through something for a very, very long time and we're like, patience, like, how much more patient should I be? Like, I, I get it. I hear you. I understand. I'm not saying that you haven't been waiting a long time or that you haven't been dealing with something for a long time. But the message here that comes to me with patience is that sometimes you're not giving yourself enough credit. And I think for Aries, that is so very typical because you guys are very competitive and you guys can be very, um, very much that way with yourselves. Like you even have this relationship with yourselves where it's like more, do more, do more, do more, do more, do more. What's your progress where you're at? Like you guys are so goal oriented and you just kind of grab the bull by the horns and you go. So when something is taking a long time, it's not because you haven't been putting in the effort. You all, you all areas, especially you all have been putting in the effort. So it's so frustrating when you have an area where you're not able to make that progress because you really try and you really apply yourselves. So the message for me that comes with patience a lot of the time is, like I said, uh, people are failing to give themselves credit or to realize or to keep in mind how far they have come. So I would say what's going to be a really good thing for you moving forward is journaling every single day. 
writing down for a little bit and then every you know couple of months going back and revisiting what you wrote in that way it gives you a record and it gives you an idea of the progress that's being made because we forget we forget you know i had a client that i was working with and we were doing like a series of affirmations and they were getting really down on themselves and they were really frustrated and they're like i'm doing all this work and like you know everything is still really crappy and I'm not making progress and you know and so like we went back and we looked at like the things that they were trying to manifest and we didn't you know I didn't even realize and it was like kind of like an eye-opener for me I was like well look you know this time last year we were working together what were some of the blocks what were some of the things you wanted a car you didn't have a car there was a workshop you really wanted to go to and you didn't have the money but you ended up manifesting that and you went to the workshop and you have the car so it was just kind of like little things th that you forget like you forget and you take for granted like at the time you might be like oh awesome you know i i got the car and it's a really big deal but then a few months go by or a year goes by and you just kind of get used to having the car and you forget to be grateful for it. And you forget that there was a time that you didn't think that you could have it. So I'm just giving you an example of ways that sometimes we forget the progress that we've made. And things that are a really big deal kind of just become second nature. So this would be a good time for you to have some kind of record or keep some kind of record of the progress that you are making, right? And then you realize that, okay, I haven't been standing still. So the other card that kind of fell out of here was door to romance. So maybe, you know, a lot of you, I was talking about patience here. Maybe for some of you, these two things are connected. Uh, maybe some of you are frustrated because a current relationship doesn't seem to be where you want it to be. Uh, and some of you just be very frustrated because you're wanting to meet someone and it, it doesn't seem to be happening as quickly as you would like. And so this you know this is just basically telling you or giving you a confirmation that you will have this that you will have this that it's it, it's coming in it's going to be there um some of it to me though like you know and i've seen this card several times and i do read cards intuitively and this is the first time i'm seeing it this way or this is the first time that it's jumping out to me in this way so i'm kind of just seeing this little you know heart in the cage and I'm seeing these little like hearts like fluttering down and, and I think it's supposed to be cute and beautiful but it's giving me or making me think of like anybody who has seen a bird in a cage when the bird starts getting stressed out or freaked out and they start like jumping around and the, like feathers will fall out and bird seed will fall out you know so basically this is telling me or it's giving me a sense or a feeling that some of you have been really caging up your emotions or some of you have been really holding on to an emotional prospect very tightly and you're being encouraged to release it, to let it go. And then in that way, like it's going to be able to flourish. It's going to be able to play. It's going to be able to thrive, you know, so maybe relax a little bit. Maybe some of you are holding on a little too tight there in that area or in that element some of you are caging yourselves up like maybe you're editing yourself a lot especially those of you who are trying to call in a new love um you might or trying to like impress somebody so that the relationship does move forward or become more serious you may really be editing yourself like okay well you know what does this person like and like how can i dress and what kind of style can i have and how can i do my hair and what kind of music do i listen to and you know whatever it might be uh am i a uh like a techie person am i like a you know a domestic person like whatever it might be some of you may really be working very hard to prove some kind of persona and uh it, it, it could be genuine in the sense that you're like oh yeah you know i could be into those things like some of you maybe do find these areas of in uh, things like of, of interest but you know maybe you're just kind of limiting yourself or putting yourself in a cage that way and you're just kind of being advised that the freer you are the more genuine you are the more like you that you are the easier romance is going to come to you so i hope that helps you guys you may need a private reading so be sure to reach out and let me know if that's the case i have readings starting as low as five dollars guys that's like less than a starbucks i know a lot of you go to starbucks um <laughs> or like a trip to dunkin donuts but um you know i, I have readings starting as low as five dollars and, and going up so be sure to check that out 
in the description there's a list of the different readings and the different prices uh, i have discount memberships on patreon and i've got all kinds of little goodies on patreon for people that are helping me there and supporting me there so do check out my patreon page as well the link is in there and um you know those of you who can support and donate thank you so much you won't be billed until the first of the month so um there's there's that too so if you sign up today you don't have to worry about like you're getting charged right away you get charged on the first of the month and guys you know those of you who can't afford a private reading or those of you who can't afford to you know pledge two dollars or more on patreon um, please understand you all are the reason why I'm making these videos. Like I'll get comments from people or messages from people where they feel very upset because they're like, I don't even have $5 and I'm so pathetic or whatever, what have you. You are not pathetic. You are not pathetic. And I have been there. I have been in your shoes. And that's why I'm making these videos and doing these things because I'm trying to help people. Like that's why this free stuff is out there. To help those of you who can't afford it right and, and, and hopefully over time the messages that come in will help you so that you're in a better place in your life but for right now guys no judgment especially you know aries you all can be very 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 hard on yourselves no judgment so i know we saw what the what the soul homework was but i'm going to give you all an extra homework aries and that is to love yourself and to not judge yourself and to go easy on yourselves okay so I hope that helps. Uh, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page, Amethyst Angelite. I do a free card there every single day. I do a free pick a card there every single day. And it's just been a fun way to get to know a lot of you during the week in between the videos. So guys, you know, let, let's all have an amazing week and we'll see you next week. Take care.